Hey guys, how about you're surprised to see this kind of video. It's been like forever and ever since I've done a video like this where I'm just doing like a hair tutorial, makeup kind of thing. I'm going to start trying to do these on Tuesdays hopefully and get them up for you on like Wednesday, Thursdays and, and get to some more videos like this because I totally miss doing sit down videos. I love doing my daily vlogs I think but these videos also are like when I started YouTube for it, so I'm like looking forward to doing this. Let's get to it. We are going to go over my wavy hair routine now. We're going to start. Um, I'm going to show you what I do with my wavy hair here. So this is how I wake up in the morning. This is how my hair usually is. It's partly dry. It's still really wet underneath here, but mostly the top is dry and it's kind of doing a little wave thing. It's pretty much straight through here and it's wavy through here. That's why I braid it to kind of tame it down because if not it would be like a wavy mess, crazy poofy and it's super wavy underneath and it's not as wavy on top. It's just how my hair is. So this is what I do. If you have wavy curly hair or if you even have straight hair you could do this. This would be really anybody that wants a wavy hair look without heat and it's perfect for that. Okay, let me take my braid out here. So uh, let me go over what I did so last night I washed and conditioned my hair really good and I slept with it wet and I brushed it out really good with my wet brush. If you don't have a wet brush, go get one. They are perfect. They are, bristles are really like soft and so it's really soft on your hair. My thing is getting out the tangles underneath my hair mostly. Um, with wavy curly hair you don't want to brush it out too much because you're going to be brushing out all of your curly wavy hair. But I do have to get those tangles out for sure. And this is the easiest way to do it. And a leave-in conditioner is great. But I just ran in there and got that. So I don't know. Um, like, I got all my stuff everywhere because I use two bathrooms. And anyways, if you want to see that, you can check out another daily vlog. So, okay. This is another thing that I use. And they're towels for your heads. And they dry your hair. They dry your hair really good for you. Like, you put your hair in it. I guess I can show you. You put your hair in it like this. And you, like, twist it up in it. It's not going to do it because my hair is dry right now. But then this thing hooks onto here like that. And then so I'll wear it like this around for a little bit for my hair to get dry. And then right before I go to bed I take it down. And then it kind of gives you some volume too. And I'll, so my hair is like partly dry then. And then I'll braid it like I had it. I braid it to the side. You could, sometimes I do two braids. And then. Y'all make some of me I got fake nails. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to show you. This is the conditioner that I like to use. Healing oil keratin conditioner. Now, after I take my braid out, I will spray my hair back down. And this is just a water bottle. I write water on it. And these are like my favorite water bottles. So if you're running out of a hair product like this, just use it as a water bottle. Because they spray out really good. So I'm spraying this in. And I actually usually will do my hair like this at the salon. And I have some other. I use different products actually just to kind of change it up a little bit and like usually this side does not get wavy like hardly at all and I have to really work with it on this side. Um, I also did just do the Olaplex treatment if you haven't done that yet. It's great for your hair especially curly hair it makes it super soft and so that you can work with it better and my hair is like super duper soft right now because I just did it. So definitely go check out Olaplex. I'll put some of these links and products below. So, then, I would go over here to my Moroccan oil treatment. So, I'm going to put this in. And, like, just put some of that in here. And then, I use my Moroccan oil curl cream. I love to use creams. So, really any curl cream, but this one is my favorite. And then, I... Scrunch one side with a little bit, and then I come over here, and this side is doing perfect, like always. And the other side is not as wavy yet. So, um, putting some more product in there. Like, this side is, like, perfect. I love how this is being wavy for me. It's doing great. And then this side, see, it's, like, still got these straight pieces. So, I may braid my hair again to get it to be a little bit more wavy, or even just braid, like, this section for a little bit. Because all this is wavy in here. Because my hair is super wavy underneath here. I'll show you. Like all of this hair is like really, really wavy. Um, I wish all of my hair was this wavy. But it's not. It's like mostly straight on the top. A 
Shine Spray is my Swirsch Goff. And then you spray it in here. It kind of takes down all the frizzies. That makes it shiny. Um, and then my last thing would be after I'm done scrunching. Actually, I'll go back with this and I'll kind of scrunch it with it like this. You want to use a towel that's soft like this because a regular towel is make it um, damage your hair, make it more frizzy. So you want to use a soft towel when you're doing this. Then I will use a blowout hairspray. I use this whenever I curl my hair like the next day I may just spray this in it to kind of have those looser waves. But it's a five so it's a real scale like you can see there. It's not going to be like stiff spray or anything. Spray in there. You can kind of see how it kind of sprays out. It kind of like blows your hair almost like that. Okay, so now, so now that's pretty much it. I'll leave it like this. Um, sometimes I clip my hair back. Sometimes I will clip like with, with some bobby pins, depending on how my hair's doing. So, like today, if I don't have time to like leave a braid in it to get it more away, I would probably just put a bobby pin in it and pin that part back and do this where I would pin both sides back and I kind of do my bang I'll kind of play around with my bangs and get them to do different things and I'll just kind of do like this like that and clip the bobby pin in here like that there and I'll wear my hair like this um, or even if I think this is still too much hair down in my face Play around with it and probably pull back a little bit more here, right there, like so, and do like that. So, so yeah, so that's kind of like that kind of look would be. So, but I think I'm just gonna leave it down for now. So usually, I do that on like tomorrow, like the second day. The first day, I usually leave it down wavy, however it's gonna be. And I kind of like big hair, but it's kind of it's laying down a little bit flyer day because I've done the Oplex treatment and it's super soft right now. Um, I am going to braid. Hmm. Can I stop falling and braid it? Oh, let me just read this up. Um, a braid, if you leave it in for a little bit, always helps give you good waves without having to put any heat to your hair. And you can do different waves. Sometimes I do this kind of wave. Sometimes I do a fish shell braid. It gives you different waves, so... So we're going to do this for a little bit, see if it'll give me some more waves. So you might look a little silly, but I have little hair beds. This is what I use on the girls. Oh yeah, I do want to do Kinsley's new hairstyle post on Instagram. She said, oh, this is for mommy hairstylist, and because she was so excited because I know her, I guess, kind of styled it like that. So, And she wanted to like leave this piece in the front. It was cute if you saw that in the day before. So now I look kind of funny. but. I'm going to leave this braid here and do this for a minute and then I'm going to come back and show y'all. Yeah, so it's been about an hour and I did go ahead and braid this one too just to kind of get a little bit, a few more waves. And so you can see it gives you some more waves in here. So that is much better. And then it just kind of blends in with my wavy hair back through there. So now let's take this one out. I might as well go ahead and do this side also. So... Yeah, so now I've got a few more waves in there, and you can always go back through and do some more. I'm just gonna turn it. But yeah, braids are like your best friend when you're trying to do waves with the no heat. Any kind of any kind of braids you can do. All right, guys. So that is my wavy hair tutorial. So hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, like. Check out our daily vlogs. Check out hairstylesheather.com. Send us some video requests so I can do some more videos like this for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great day. See y'all soon. Bye.